the kind of gods. Okay, so what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little different and it's going to be short and sweet because I don't want to waste anybody's time. My intention or the reason why I made this video is basically to share with you a software that has pretty much been a lifesaver for me over the last few weeks, especially when I've had to deal with a lot of PDFs and batch do a lot of things with different PDFs at my actual jobs that are not YouTube. So today I want to talk to you about PDF elements and I usually don't make these types of videos mostly because I never just respond to companies that try to get me to use their software. but. PDF Elements is a software that I've actually been using for almost the last two years because they have reached out to me before and I've made a video about their old software on this channel. Uh, but the new PDF Element 7.6 is a lot different than what I used to use in the past and that is one of the reasons why I was most excited to actually share the software with you. It's been redesigned and it's a lot easier to use now, like ridiculously easy to use. So in this video, I want to show you pretty much how I have been using PDF elements in my day to day and how it has actually been saving me a lot of time, especially with batch work, like work that I have to do that involves working with a lot of slides at the same time and getting every done quickly so that I can submit my work and get paid. So uh, let's take this slide for example. Uh, it's a PDF file. Now the first thing that's a little mind blowing about PDF element 7.6, which is what I have here is I am able to actually go in there and edit text at will. Like I can change pretty much anything that I want after I select text. I can just go ahead and double click and I can add and remove text. I can, you know, I can do whatever I want pretty much in there with the text and it saves that pretty much straight up and I can export that as a PDF or, and this is the best part, I can actually batch export all of these PDF files in any other format like PowerPoint um, Microsoft Word, plain text, or even images if I just want to straight up use them inside of videos and that's actually going to save me a bunch of time. Now, if you come to the next section, you can actually hide or edit images and you can very easily do that with like logos and stuff and it makes life very convenient. And you can actually also use this to add things like arrows and annotations and stuff into your PDFs and give it a little bit more life. Another thing that I want to talk about is the fact that you can now add or edit links inside of your PDF file. So say for example, you actually created your PDF in the first place in a completely different software or you used PowerPoint or something and you realized that one of the links that you put in there was wrong or something, you can actually come in here and edit the link out or you can just add links if you never had links in the file or you had some links and you wanted to add a few more, you can actually very easily do that. Now, of course, naturally, as like many other PDF softwares, you're able to actually add or deep PDF forms with this PDF element 7.6. And I believe you could actually already do that with the original PDF elements that I was using. I'm not sure if that was 5.0 or 6.0, but it's been a year or so now, so I don't really remember very much. Now, there's also a Mac for redaction tool. So if you're trying to cancel out stuff that you don't want people to be able to read, even if they also use PDF elements on their end and you want to redact stuff so that they're not going to be able to access that, like some of the information on your PDF, you can actually do that. Now, one thing that I really appreciate is the tool section. And this is where I do most of my work. This is where most of the magic happens for me, especially because this part is pretty much what I use the most. Now, converting PDFs. You're able to batch process conversions. So you can convert all your PDFs that you've, you know, pretty much uploaded into PDF elements at that time to any other format that you want. So you can do Microsoft Word, you can do images, JPEGs, whatever you need to just be able to get your PDFs to whatever format is most convenient for you to use immediately at that time and boom, you're done. Another thing that I like to use a lot in this section is going to be the hard watermarks. So if you want to add a watermark to like your PDFs or every single slide of your PDF, you're able to do that very quickly for all the files and then you're able to export them and then that watermark is stuck there. Like it's just going to be on every single PDF once you do that. Uh, you can add backgrounds. I don't know why you would want to do that to your PDF document, but you can also add headers and footers. And this one is important because you can now batch process adding headers and footers into every single document that you want to use. As I have done here, as you can see, I've basically added a footer or footers inside of this document without stress. Now with any other software that would have been difficult to do at once, you'd have to do it 
slide by slide and there's going to be a chance of you actually not placing it perfectly the way that you have it on every single slide but when you can batch process it you can actually get it done and be done with it very quickly you can also batch remove and this is important so maybe you put something and you later decide that you actually don't even want that there you just want to get rid of everything but you want to do it on every single slide or every single pdf document you can actually very quickly do that you can also combine pdfs and you can actually encrypt all your pdf documents which is absolutely insane now that is how i personally use pdf elements now i don't know about how other people might use PDF elements. Because I'm seeing that there's a lot of other options here like OCR text recognition and you can actually crop pages and stuff. I've never actually had to use that, but I'm sure there are people that stuff like that is going to be useful for. So that was my very brief and quick overview of PDF elements. Uh, it's a really affordable software. So if you'd like to check it out, I'm going to have links in the description so that you can go ahead and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. And I guess I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan. Peace. The kind of God.